Hi, it's Nick Russo, and today we are visiting Hazelnut the Turtle at the Australian uh, Seabird and Turtle Hospital here in Ballina. Um, we've been really proud to support these guys over the last few months, and, and we're going to come and have a look at what they do here at the hospital. I'm here with Anna, the president of the uh, Australian Seabird and Turtle Hospital here in Ballina. Um, Anna, are you telling us a bit about the foundation of the, the space here? Can you tell us a bit more about that? This property is owned by the Tony and Lizette Lewis Foundation and it's called the Wildlife Link Sanctuary. They're very generous in their support of our charity, so they lease us this property on a peppercorn rent and help us with our repairs, maintenance and, and our running expenses, the admin expenses and so forth. So the actual work, we, we have two paid full-time paid employees. The um, and the rest of the work is carried out by volunteers, so we've got a constant stream of um, people in and out helping to care for the animals that we have in care. What does the hospital need at the moment and, and what can the people watching um, do to help you out? Well, financially we're facing a major rebuild here because the, the turtle hospital um, that we have is severely uh, affected by rust and we need a total rebuild which is obviously fairly expensive. Mm. So regular donations, even of $10 a month, would make a huge difference to us if we could get a bunch of regular donors that would donate to us and it's all tax deductible, then that does give us an estimation of how much we have to spend and can rely on. We have had one or two very generous bequests. Leaving it on a percentage basis is a wonderful way of keeping uh, keeping financially abreast of your estate. Mm. But we have documents drawn up that um, we can send out to uh, people if they're interested in that. The sponsorship of Turtles has been amazing and has brought us in some wonderful income. At the moment, we're, uh, all, our, all our turtles are sponsored, so we don't have an endless number of animals that can be, uh, that can be sponsored. We don't do bird sponsor sponsorship because they're, they're so frail that uh, they're in and out very quickly. We all know what we need to be doing to reduce the, our consumption of plastic to make the environment better for this wildlife. Um, is there anything else you'd like to ask the community to help stop the animals from coming into this hospital? Well, one thing we'd really like to target is there is a petition going at the moment on banning helium balloons in New South Wales. Mm -hmm. um, some of the states have already done that and uh, we'd really like to see that happen as well because we've got some prime examples of helium balloons that have been in salt water for six to eight years and they still haven't disintegrated. Mm. So they're a real issue. The turtles find it hard to differentiate between jellyfish and helium balloons. Um, water quality is another one to just be very aware of what you put down the drain in your streets, that any, any pesticides that uh, you use in your garden or in your driveway will run off into the ocean. What can people do if they want to come and, you know, they can't give money but they might want to give some time? Is it something they can do there as well? Well, through our website we have a, um, a volunteers interest page so anybody can contact us and, and express an interest to come in and help. Then we, we have training sessions so that we bring people up to standard on, uh, on what to do and then we mentor them in the hospital itself. It's quite physical because we not only are feeding the turtles but we're having to empty their tanks and clean them and uh, refill them every day. So we're always looking for people and, and it can be uh, four hours a week, one session of uh, four hours because we, we do all our work in the morning and then we shut the turtle hospital in so that we're not having too much human interaction with the turtles. Sure. But um, yeah, the volunteers, they get an amazing reward in themselves for, for working with the sound. And it's a moment in people's lives that they can actually focus on something really joyous and, and not many people get to handle birds and um, turtles. 
There is a wonderful app called the I4 Wildlife Rescue app, IFAW, that is location sensitive. So if somebody finds an animal, any sort of animal, they can go onto their app and it will tell them what wildlife uh, rescue organisations are in their area. And that's something that we'd really like to see the public uh, take on board and put on their phones for those rare occasions when they might need it. What a great visit to the hospital today. Uh, please remember how you can support. We'll have a bunch of links for you to click on down below. And do download the IFAW app on your phone. It's really simple and it'll show you who you need to call uh, to, for when you find injured animals.